I was doing Qigong exercise this morning and I was doing all uh, the exercises that really have big movements, big, big energetic movements in the, in the Qigong and there's lots of them and there's lots of different ones but I thought of one will do. But what there was, what came up in it was about that when you move, you, your whole body moves at one piece, there's no separation. When I lift an arm, I don't just lift an arm up and put the arm down, the whole body lifts the arm up and it comes down and how I explain that is that when the arm goes up my body goes down slightly, I feel my body sink. And as it sinks, the energy comes up through my body. So as I go down, if I exaggerate that, I go down and my arm comes up and I go up and my arm goes down. But that doesn't, you don't see that on the outside, but inside that's what it feels like. My energy goes down and brings the arm up. And I have this, this energy if I do it slowly. If I do wave hands over the lake, if you'll see me going down slightly, and as I breathe in, the body inflates and it rises. Then I use gravity to pull myself down. And then the hands come up, breathing in. So I'm not just doing this. Yeah. The body's doing the exercise. The whole body's moving, even though it looks like an arm exercise. The whole body's moving slightly up and down, and that's creating the movement, the rise and fall of the energy in the arms. Yeah. I want to do a different exercise. We'll take a different exercise out of the long life system so you can understand the principle of that even better about how the body moves by itself without you having to do very, very much at all. We'll, we'll start with our palms facing the ground. And we'll turn the palms up. Yep. And the right hand, we'll bring the right hand up. I'll mirror you, comes up. And as it comes to the top, I want you to lower yourself down. And when you lower yourself down, keep your, keep your bottom tucked under. Don't just don't lower your spine down straight, so your back's like. So your back, don't, don't lower yourself down like that. Lower yourself down straight, yeah? So get to the bottom. And then as we rise, our hands are going to come to the side and they're going to get to halfway, which both palms are down, and you're going to change over and go the other way. Now both palms are facing up. The one at the bottom is facing up, the one at the top's up. And then it comes up. Very cool. And then down. Now the breathing for this exercise, as you breathe in as it comes up, and you breathe out as it goes down. Breathe in as it comes up. So the whole body's moving, even though the arms are rotating, the whole body's part of the exercise. Yeah. So as we breathe in, the body inflates, and as it inflates, that's what brings you up. The body floats because your body expands, and your body's moving by itself. And as you breathe out and compact the chi, it's gravity pulls you down and you ride the energy of gravity pulling you down and then you ride the inflation on the way up. So either of these, I'm not doing either of the movements, I'm riding what's happening naturally by itself, breathing out, gravity pulls me down, it feels like it's sucking me down into the ground, I'm just riding the, that, that power of that. And when it gets down, everything in the body feels like a big spring being compressed, the spring's being compressed. And I'm not going to let the spring go fast, I'm just going to ride the pressure of the spring back up again as I inflate. And the body just naturally rises by itself. And then we can use gravity to pull myself down again. So I get to do very little of this exercise, I'm just riding natural things that are happening. Inflation. Let the gravity pull you down. Feel the compacting of the chi. And then I just relax and the body floats back up by itself. I relax and the gravity pulls me down. I relax and the inflation brings me up. And this is the understanding. Now you are, can let the arms relax. Because we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything with our legs. Our legs can relax. It's got legs are inflating. As they inflate, they get bigger. And as they get bigger, they rise. And then you can pack the chi and feel the energy pulling the legs down. And you feel inside the legs as you're bending them down, you feel the energy going down inside and all the power is getting down the legs. And all it wants to do is just straighten up because it's like it's all this weight's coming down in your legs. And you feel them like the spring, it's like they're compressing the spring. And then as soon as you breathe in, they come back up, push them down, relax. They come up by themselves, yeah. So this is the natural, natural thing that's happening inside this exercise. Now most Qigong exercises, and I say most because there are a few that are always different, has a principle of all the body movement. There's no separation when you move and when you come in.
breathing back down. Good. That's it. Perfect. Breathe in. Natural inhalation. The gravity pull you down. Pack the chi. Breathing in. Breathing out. Very good. This is how you move without any effort because this is the effortless movement because I'm not actually having to generate any power to do any of this. I'm using gravity's energy to create that power and I'm using the inflation or the inflation energy to, to do the front. So I'm not doing either of these. I'm just riding the, the speed that it goes. So I let it go at the bottom. It comes out really fast. And if I let the gravity pull me down, it goes down really fast. But we're not doing that, so we want to ride it. We're riding one and the other, so it's just going bump and breaking up and breaking down. And we're riding, what we're doing is we're choosing to ride the energy wave on the way up, and we ride the energy wave on the way down. And we're just sitting inside the space of this body moving in harmony with itself. Yep. Very cool. Hopefully that's useful. That's part of Qigong. <coughs> There's lots of different aspects of Qigong. That's just one of them I want to share with you today. Makes you feel like you're floating around. And even when you're walking, the same thing when you walk, just normal things. When you walk, your body floats. You just learn how to move energetically when you're walking and your body just, just glides around. Same thing when you just get up from a chair. When you get up from the chair to get up from the chair, you have to push down to get up. And so all you have to do is inflate. If you push sitting on this chair and you want to get up, just breathe in. And the body just will sit. You'll just float up and sit up by yourself. And there you go. We can practice that for the day. It's very cool. We just bow. Cool. You might just have imagination of all the people floating up in their offices today, sitting down and going, getting up and going to have a cup of tea. Be cool, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Eh? Bye bye. <laughs> Float around today. <laughs>